Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mukesh English and this is your Mukesh Soni. In this video, I'm going to revise the complete syllabus of third semester BCom and BBA generic English and my focus will be only from the examination point of view. Remember, I'll just focus from the examination point of view. So let's begin without much delay. So before that, let's know that uh, what is exactly the syllabus is here. So you have 60 marks question paper and this 60 marks question paper is divided in this manner. So you have a play, The Fire and the Rain, Agni Mattu Malai. In English, The Fire and the Rain, done by, written by uh, Girish Kannad, the famous Kannada writer. And this play has the importance of 30 marks. Your 50% of your question paper will be from the play, Fire and the Rain. Keep in your mind. Then five speeches. You have five speeches here. These five speeches have the weightage for 10 marks. Then you have presentation skills, five marks, paragraph writing, five marks, then business correspondence, five marks, and the brochure writing, or, or we can say the product manual for the five marks. So like this, you'll be having the question paper for 60 marks question paper. And, and here, the most important uh, significant part of the syllabus is here your fire in the rain so if you don't do uh, if you don't work hard or if you don't try to um, put your best efforts for the fire in the rain definitely you are ready to fail in english this semester so now that's a reality uh, you need to accept it now let's move further and we shall have the discussion the fire in the rain now this play fire in the rain has the weightage for 30 marks how will the questions appear and this, and this play will be having here three important sections. The first section will be having the two marks questions. So out of seven questions, out of seven questions, you need to attempt here five questions, each for two marks. So two into five, ten. Second section is here. You, uh, you have here five marks questions and five marks, how many questions? Two questions. Out of three questions, you need to opt here two questions. Then you have here or one, one question for the 10 marks. So like this, two marks, five questions, five marks, two questions, and 10 marks, one question. So totally, this is how you'll be having the question paper from the play here, 30 marks. So now very briefly, very briefly, I'm just going to, going to give the, the limelight or the highlight of the play. So what is this play? This play is written by the famous Kannada writer Grish Kannad, and the fire and the rain is based on the myth of Yavakri. Originally, in 1995, this play was written in Kannada language, titled Agni Mattu Malai. Later, it was published in English in 1998 by Girish Kannad himself. This play has been extracted from the chapters 135 to 138 of the Vana Parva, Forest Canto of the Mahabharata. Then, who are the characters here? There are two brothers, both, there are two Brahmin brothers, Rebya and Bhardwaj. And Rebya has two sons. The elder, the elder son's name is here Parvasu, who is 28 years old. And the younger one is here Arvasu, 18 years old. And uh, Parvasu is married to Vishakha, uh, who is 26 years old. Arvasu is in love with a tribal girl, uh, Nitlai, who is 14 years old. And Bhardwa's son, Yavakri. Bhardwa's son's name is here Yavakri, or we can say Yavakri is the cousin of Parvasu. Now, after Bhardwaj's death, Yavakri is looked after by Andaka. And who is Andaka? Andaka is the only and only one blind character in the play who looks after Yavakri or Bhardwaj, Harimitesh, Bhardwaj's house. Then we have here Brahma Rakshas. We have another uh, character here, actor manager, then actor manager's brother. So these are the important characters of the whole play, The Fire and the Rain. Now, the whole play is in the five sections, prologue, act one, act two, act three, epilogue. So very, very briefly, very rapidly, I'll be telling you the story here. So what happens in the prologue? So there are there has been a drought for 10 years and there has not been any rainfall from the past 10 years. So past seven years, the fire sacrifice, the yagna is going on and Parvasu, Rebhya's eldest son, Parvasu, who has been appointed as a chief priest for this fire sacrifice. And here... Here there's a Brahmin soul who is uh, who is hovering around this uh, this fire sacrificial place. And this Brahmin soul is not allowed to enter 
the this particular pavitra place and he's called as the brahma rakshas now an actor manager appears here and the actor manager he comes with a request that he would like to uh, stage a drama here because fire sacrifice is not enough to please the lord indra to get a good rainfall so he requests that why don't we have a drama here to entertain the lord indra for this drama they require an actor and he requests that arvasu should be given a chance to play uh, a role in the to play role in this particular drama so finally uh, finally parvasu is parvasu gives uh, parvasu gives uh, permission that yes arvasu can play and arvasu later shares this news to his beloved nithilai he goes to nithilai and nithilai and, and arvasu are having very good talk and arvasu is in love with nithilai nithilai says that if you want to marry me you have to meet my elders you have, you have to meet my elders and to you have to meet my elders and uh, you need to answer a few questions so arvasu is very much worried that how to uh, uh, how to accept or how to declare his love in public right so they are having discussion and finally they reach to the hermitage of yavakri and this hermitage of yavakri is looked after by andaka andaka is the only one blind character so even andaka is also aware of the relationship between arvasu and nithilai and andaka has very one one important um, god's gift here he could easily identify the footsteps of uh, arvasu and nithilai now here andaka starts to andaka begins to glorify the power of yavakri he says that yavakri has been in jungle for the past 10 years and he is trying to please lord indra and he is coming back with the universal power universal knowledge and nithilai says that okay if he is coming with, with the universal knowledge why don't he ask why doesn't he ask for the rainfall so nithilai says that i want to ask him two questions that whether yavakri can make it rain or whether he knows that when he will die so like this they are having discussion and uh, what happens here here yavakri is coming on the way yavakri is coming on the way and in between on the way he meets who whom does he meet he meets vishakha he blocks the path of vishakha vishakha who is parvasu's wife and he blocks the path of vishakha and both of them have conversation so here there's one uh, there's one chapter of vishakha's life opens here actually vishakha was in love with yavakri only because parvasu has gone to has gone for fire sacrifice from the past 7 years or as well as yavakri has gone to jungle for 10 years so vishakha got married with parvasu so here in this duration parvas uh, both vishakha and yavakri they are in relationship they they got into physical relationship and at this at this spot at this particular place but in place nithilai and arvasu they arrive and and arvasu get very much perplexed and he is unable to understand what's going on and um, he reaches to his home uh, carrying the water pot which should be carried by nithilai here here Nith uh, here um vishakha's father in law rebya rebya gets very much angry having seen vishakha in a, in such a condition where her clothes are torn her back is covered with mud and he starts blaming that oh, what is this going on your brother in law is carrying the water pot you have gone to bring the water so finally uh, he comes to know about the relationship between uh, between uh, yavakri and yavakri and vishakha and he says to vishakha that i am going to kill your lover yavakri go and if you want to save yavakri's life go and save yavakri's life tell yavakri that he is going to create a brahma rakshas and brahma rakshas will kill him so here here one side vishakha goes to inform yavakri that your life is in is in danger here arvasu goes to yavakri's house to inform andaka that that to inform andaka that if yavakri comes you just tell him to be in the house so here vishakha vishakha goes to meet yavakri and she says that look your life is in danger it's better you stay in the house you go to your house but in between what happens in this duration in this duration yavakri reveals one secret here that he has played the card he has played his power and because of this everybody is coming uh, is coming to him and here vishakha understands that, understands that yes this person has used me so vishakha pours down the complete consecrated water which was in the kamandlu so here 
Yaukri shouts that you demon, I believe to you and I need water, water. Vishaka says that go, go and run towards your house if you want to save your life. So here Yaukri runs towards his hermitage. The moment he reaches his house, Andaka says, who, who is this? Andaka could not realize the footstep, uh, footstep of Yaukari. And here Brahma Rakshas catches Yaukari and Yaukari is killed. So this is for the first time that Andaka could not realize anyone's, especially his own master's footsteps. So now, now Arvasu is late. So Yaukari is no more and Yaukari's dead body is cremated by, by Arvasu himself. And because of this, all these things, Yauk Arvasu is too late to meet Nithalai's parents, Nithalai's elders. He tries to convince Nithalai's brother that he has been late because of this, because of his cousin's death and his cousin's uh, cremation of the body. But he could not convince. And finally, what happens? Nithalai, Nithalai's marriage is fixed. With her, uh, with her own tribal boy. So here, here he is completely crestfallen, and he reaches to his house. Now here, what happens? Parvasu has come back. Parvasu has come back after seven years, and he has come back in the night after seven years, and he meets his wife Vishaka. Here, Vishaka reveals one important factor. Here, Vishaka says that Vishaka says to Parvasu that your father has sexually harassed me. Mentally and sexually, he has harassed me. And here, Parvasu, Parvasu targets the arrow towards his father, and Parvasu kills his own father, Rebhya. And he tells he tells his brother to do the final rites of of their father. And uh, Arvasu does the final rites of of his father. And afterwards, afterwards, Arvasu goes to the fire fire sacrificial place. And here, here Parvasu is offering the oblation and Parvasu gets very much worried to see Arvasu over there. He starts baffling, he is unable to chant the mantras and he, he asks he ask Arvasu, who are you? So he says that, he, 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 says, he, he says that, uh, he says that I'm the son of Rebya and he asks him, where were you? He says that I've just completed my father's last rites, who is killed? And he himself says that at the hands of his son. So he blames, he put a blame of his father's death on the shoulders of Arvasu and everybody thinks that Arvasu is the murderer of his father and the, the soldiers, everybody that pounces on, the pounce on Arvasu and they beat Arvasu mercilessly and Arvasu is thrown out of the town and Arvasu could be, Arvasu is already out of the city and he's very much injured. It is actor manager who looks after Arvasu the moment the moment Nithilai comes to know that Arvasu's life is in danger, she runs from her from her husband's house and she comes to meet, she she comes to, to, to take care of Arvasu. So it is Nithilai who has been looking after Arvasu from the past three days. From the past three days. And even though Nithilai also uh, tries to console him that it's better that he should go back to his brother. And he should clear all the air. He should clear all the confusion. But he says no. So finally, the actor manager comes here. And the actor manager says that, why don't you take part in the play which we are going to play uh, on the stage here? So finally, Nithilai also convinces him. And Arvasu accepts the role. So what is the role is here? So one play is going to be enacted in this drama. So this technique is called here, play within the play technique. And the play's name is here, The Trump of Lord Indra. The triumph of Lord Indra. So Arvasu will play the role of Vritra, the role of Vritra, and uh, the actor manager will play the role of Indra, and actor manager's brother will play the role of Vishurupa. So now the drama starts on the stage, and here Parvasu and all the other Brahmins and the king, everybody is watching this drama. And here, here Arvasu is wearing the mask of Vritra, the mask of Vritra. And the actor manager has already told Arvasu that, look, Arvasu, you are wearing the mask of Vritra. And Vritra means it's a demon, it's a Rakshas. So you, you need to have a control over the mask. The mask should not control you. So the stage starts here. Stage uh, on, on the stage, the drama begins here. So there's a story behind it. What's the story is here? Brahma had, Brahma had three sons. Brahma had three sons. One is Indra. Uh, Indra, Vishurupa, and Vritra. So what happened in Brahma has given all the responsibility of his kingdom to whom? 
to Vishwarupa because he knows that Indra is very clever. So to protect to protect Vishwarupa, he has created Vritra, the Rakshas. And he has told Vritra that you have to look after your brother Vishwarupa from the hands of Indra. So now Indra, see this is the drama. Okay, drama in the drama. Now Indra would like to kill Vishwarupa and he, he, he says to Vishwarupa, Vishwarupa, please come on the stage. Why don't you come on the stage here and to take part in the fire sacrifice? Vishwarupa says that, okay, I'll take part in the fire sacrifice, but I also want that Vritra should also come here. And he says, Vritra cannot come. Vritra is a Brahma Rakshas and Brahma Rakshas, Rakshasas are not allowed here. So the moment Vishwarupa start giving the oblations into the fire, and Indra kills Vishwarupa with his thunderbolt. And here, and here Arvasu, who is playing the role of Ritra, he could not control to see this kind of scene. And, and here Ritra starts to, um, to damage the whole stage here and there. He runs behind Indra and he would like to kill Indra. So the moment the moment Parvasu has seen the killing of Vishwarupa here, Parvasu jumps up and Parvasu is unable to answer. Even Parvasu also kills himself by jumping into the, into the fire. And here Nithilai comes and Nithilai removes the mask of Ritra from the face of Arvasu. And Arvasu is very much upset to see that his brother is no more. His brother has killed himself. How will he show his innocence? In between what happens here, Nithilai's husband has come and Nithilai's husband kills Nithilai with the help of knife. So Nithilai's dead body is lying on the ground. And he holds, Arvasu holds the Nithilai's dead body in, in his arms. And, and this time, this time, the real voice of Indra appears from the cloud. Indra says that, okay, Arvasu asked, what do you want to ask? So the whole crowd, the whole crowd says to Arvasu, hey, Arvasu, please ask rain. We want rain. But Arvasu says that, no, I want my Nithilai's life back. Indra says that if I give the Nithilai's life back, the whole Samay Chakra, the wheel of time will get rewind and everybody will get life and again this kind of bloodshed will start. In between, Brahma Rakshas comes here. He says that, look, Arvasu, I'm the creation of your own father. Please liberate me. But he here, Arvasu is so stubborn that he says that, no, I can't liberate you. I want, I want Nithilai's life back. So somehow again, Arvasu says to Lord Indra, okay, you do both. Lord Indra is very much clever. He says that, okay, if I, there's no guarantee that who will get life. Brahma Raksha says, uh, says to uh, Arvasu that, look, Arvasu, if Nithilai gets his life back, her life back, what will happen? I will torture her with my screams. So finally, Arvasu says to Lord Indra, okay, Lord Indra, you, you liberate, give the moksha mukti to this Brahma Raksha. So Brahma Raksha's soul, soul departs in the sky and it rains so heavily and people start dancing in the rain. And here, here Arvasu who is holding the dead body of Nithilai, he says, hey Nithilai, just see, it's raining, it's raining. So friends, I have just given you a very brief summary and this is how the fire and the rain play ends here. So the whole play is based on the, the whole play is based on the the theme of revenge, hatred, uh, sacrifice, lust, and love. So we have these important characters, Rebhya, Parvasu, Arvasu, Vishaka, Nithilai, Yavkari, Andaka, Actor Manager. So in the examination, you'll be having one question they will definitely ask about the character sketch. So you should know who is Rebhya, who is Parvasu, Arvasu, Vishaka, Nithilai, Yavkari, Andaka, and Actor Manager. So you'll be having two marks, five questions and five marks, two questions and 10 marks, one question. So I hope this is how you can do it. And you can also watch my videos on, uh, uh, on fire and the rain. The link you can, you can see in the description box. Now let's move further to the speech. Now I'll give you the limelight of each speech. You have 10 marks questions, two questions you need to attempt each for one mark. Uh, sorry, each for five marks. You have speech number one, Winston Churchill's commencement speech at Harrow School, 1941. So this, this speech was delivered by Winston Churchill on 29th October, 1941 at Harrow School, London. And uh, it, it, it's a time of the Second World War. And the UK was already enraged in the air battle, uh, sorry, air battle with the Nazi Germany. 
and here winston churchill is motivating the school children to not to think about the past losses we have done we should think about the future we are prepared for the future so winston churchill says, says that do not let us speak of the darker days let us speak of the sterner days sterner means to say the challenging days these are not dark days these are great days the greatest days our country has ever lived and we must all thank that thank god that we have been allowed each one of us according to our stations to play a part in making these days memorable in the history of our race so here winston churchill is motivating the school children to think about the future not to think about our past losses because he says that now we are more prepared so this is how he is encouraging the school children to be prepared for the forthcoming war war like situations so that's about speech number 1 speech number 2 we have the second speech by dr uh, sorry jk rolling howard commencement speech in 2008 jk rolling stood in front of howard graduating class and thought back to her own life on the cusp of graduation jk rolling guided the howard graduating class by offering some guidance and her topic her talk was centered on important two important topics one is here the importance of failure and the use and the importance of imagination so in this speech she talks about the importance of failure importance of education as well as her work at the african research department of amnesty internationals london house london office so she has given that how she failed in her life how people used to take uh, her own life over there and how the imagination is very much important and how she used to spend a lot of time at african research center and she used to encounter she used to meet with many different people and how they inspired her and she got a lesson in her life right so you can go through those videos links in the description box for much detail for more detail now we have the third speech narayan murthy speech at lal bahadur shastri institute of management uh, this speech was delivered by Nar- narayan murthy when he received the lal bahadur shastri national award for excellence in public administration and management sciences for the year t- 2001 from the lal bahadur shastri institute of management new delhi Mr Murthy talks about some of the values we need to learn from the west he says that yes we have let's respect our contemporary values at the same time let's inculcate let's bring up the mixture of the western values also so what does he say he has emphasized the role of western values in the contemporary indian society he has mentioned that we should respect for the public good in the west individuals understand that they have to be responsible for the community he says that we should acknowledge the accomplishments of others later he says that there should be accountability of our work there should be dignity of labor there should be professionalism in our life intellectual independence is required because we are suffering from the feudal thinking further he says that we often fail to acknowledge the duty that accompanies every right so in this manner mr murthy has listed out the values that the westerners follow the community must develop a system of values everyone must strengthen the quality over the individual and society then it cannot be implemented by the rule of law It means to say there is no law which tell you that okay you follow this you follow this so such behavior should be followed by everyone in the community so this is how he has tried to um is he has tried to bring some western values in our contemporary indian society now the speech number 4 we have here message to women delivered by dr b r ambedkar so about 20000 to 25000 women assembled to listen dr ambedkar which was really unthinkable before 10 years so he says that dr ambedkar has given a message to all the women where he says that women should learn to be clean they should keep free from all the vices they should give education to the children they should instill ambition among their children they should inculcate in their minds that they are destined to be great 
they should remove from them all the impurity complexes. He also says that they should not be in a hurry to marry because marriage is a liability. And he further suggests that marriage should not be imposed upon children unless they are financially stable. So those who keep in the mind that too many children, they should not, too many children is something like similar to a crime. So parental duty, what is a parental duty? Parental duty is here to give the better start, to give a better education than the parents had. So let each girl who marries, they should stand up to her husband, claim to be her husband's friend and equal and refuse to be his slave. So these are the advices that Dr. Ambedkar has given in his speech titled Message to Women. The last fifth speech you have here by Bob Dylan's Nobel Prize acceptance speech 2016. Who, who, was, who was Robert Dylan? Robert Dylan is an American song singer and uh, come songwriter. So in 2016, Bob Dylan was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature. Why? for having created a new poetic expression within the great American song tradition. Though he was a singer, songwriter, but his, uh, his songs had such a poetic expression which created a new niche, which created a new tradition in the American song system. That's the reason in 2016 he was bestowed with the Nobel Prize in Literature. Now, what does he say? During his speech, he says that he has been familiar with the works of Kipling, Shaw, Thomas Mann, Pearl Buck, Albert Camus, Hemingway. He has been he has been very much familiar with all these writers since his school life. And he also says that anyone who writes a book or any poem or any play anywhere in the world will always have a dream in the life that he or she should always be awarded. He says that I don't know exactly my writers whom I have read, even they had the such dream or not. So he says that when he heard that news that he is being awarded the Nobel Prize, he was on the road and he got stuck with this news. He was unable to believe that he has been selected for the Nobel Prize. He compares his work with the works of William Shakespeare. And he also mentioned that there's a big prize in his mind. What's the big prize? He says, if he was really dreaming big, maybe he could imagine getting to make a record and then hearing his song on the radio. He says that I have big dream. What's the big dream that I have? That my songs should be uh, played on the radio, should reach to the millions of people, right? Then further, he mentions uh, his, uh, his weakness. He says that it's very easy to perform in front of 50,000 people but it's very difficult to perform in front of 50 people. So these are the these are the important inputs of Bob Dylan's speech. So friends, these are the five speeches you have here in this syllabus. And these five speeches videos, I already done it. If you want to go in depth, you can go through the links from the description box and you can listen more videos. So out of five speeches you'll be having here, Two questions, 10 marks, two questions. So I repeat here. Till now, we have discussed here 40 marks question paper, 30 marks fire in the rain, and the 10 marks the speeches. Now we are coming to the creative writing, or we can say in other words, the workbook. Now to begin with, we have here the very first question, presentation skills. Presentation skills, this topic is for five marks. And here you will be having here three types of presentation. One is informative, persuasive, demonstrative. What is informative? When you are giving some information, let's un understand with the help of the topics. Informative means to say importance of education, pollution, etc. Persuasive, you are trying to convince somebody. Is technology boon or ban, right? Um, or we can say electrical vehicle versus petrol or fuel-based vehicle, right? Demonstrative, you are trying to demonstrate something, how to edit a video, how to open the account, etc. So now the question is here in the examination, how to give, how to give such kind of presentation, how to attempt this question. So no need to think about these types of presentation, so-called informative, persuasive, or demonstrative. Don't think much about these three names. Now let's think any one topic will be given and you need to 
you need to present, you need to draw the boxes and you need to give the each box is a slide one. Slide numbers you have to give. So the first slide will be here. Slide number one, you need to mark the topic name you need to mention. Then you should, you should mention presented by. Now, this is how you need to prepare around six to seven slides. The boxes you need to prepare. You need to give the numbering slide one, two, three, four, five, six. And each slide you need to mention the main topic and the subheadings, heading and subheading. Now here you try to draw some image so that it could be more elegant and more, and more presentable, right? So if you have a laptop, it's very easy to copy the images from Google. But in the examination, you don't have such facility. Obviously, you have to draw. So let's see the second the second slide should have the index. I'm sorry, spelling error once again. Uh, spelling error is here, index, I-N-D-E-X, index. Here you mention your rest of the slides headings here. So my next slide will be meaning. After that, my slide will be process of communication. Third slide, next slide will be seven C's of communication. Fourth, next slide will be types of communication, right? Now the third slide is here, meaning of communication. The What's the meaning is here? Fourth slide I have here, process of communication. Fifth slide I have here, seven C's of communication. Sixth slide I have here, types of communication. So all these subheadings I already mentioned in the index number two and the last slide will be here, thank you. So like this, you need to prepare here around six to seven slides. This question is for five marks. So don't make only five slides because first slide is the introduction, last slide is the, is the thank you. So hardly you're making here five slide which has the which have the content so my again my advice is here decorate your slide right make it more presentable and uh, draw some images so that you can get the best marks so this is about the presentation skills let's go to the next question paragraph writing so paragraph writing this question is for five marks and there are three types four types of paragraph in your syllabus one is descriptive narrative reflective argumentative for example what is descriptive if i say uh, describe your college right something living object you are describing that is about descriptive narrative they say that okay you went to attend some sort of nss camp narrate your experience you went to his station narrative experience narrative narration means to say the past you are writing the past. Reflective, you are thinking, for example, college education versus school education, right? You are thinking about Indian economy. So this is reflective. Argumentative means to say where you are arguing some sort of comparison, right? If I say here online payment versus offline payment, right? Uh, electrical vehicle versus fuel vehicle. This is called here argumentative. So in the examination, in the examination, you need not worry. They will, uh, in the examination, you'll be having a outline. They'll give the, some sort of key points will be given in the, on the question paper. With the help of the key points, with the help of those outline, you need to develop the paragraph. So they won't ask you write descriptive paragraph, narrative paragraph. So no need to worry about those, those, uh, sorry, there's a disturbance here. No need to worry about the about the descriptive, narrative, reflective, argumentative, the so-called the themes. You just focus on the you just focus on the key lines, the keywords or the outline. Based on the keywords or the outline, you develop one paragraph and give a title. So for this, you can see the sample answers in my videos on model question paper. I've done three videos. One is a model question paper. One is the 2023 BU examination question paper. One is 2023 BNU examination question paper. So you have three question papers to have a look. And these question paper, the links you can see in the description box, right? Now, business correspondence, five marks question. What is business correspondence? You have here business letters. And here you have four letters in your syllabus. Letter of inquiry, letter of inquiry, order letter, letter of complaint and reply to complaint. So you have four letters in your syllabus and uh, you're too lucky that they, they're asking out of four letters, only one letter. So in the examination, you'll be having a choice. You'll be having a choice here and then you'll be given here two letters and out of two letters, you select one. Similarly, for the paragraph writing also, they'll be given, giving you, they'll be giving you 
two paragraphs you need to opt one so you have you have a lot of choice here so out of let uh, inquiry letter order letter complaint reply to complaint attempt any one so i have done a separate video on the business letter writing you can go through the links just to have a recapitulation to recall that what could be the format so if you look at this format here uh, the first one you find this is called here this one this one is called here sender's address who is writer right the phone number the email id then the date 25th november 2022 then who is the receiver the manager abc company etc salutation dear sir madam subject enquiry for the quotation then you have the body of the letter then you have yours faithfully signature column any kind of enclosure you have enclosed here so this is completely left margin format so i do uh, i always um, prefer to write the left margin format because you have you need not worry much about the punctuation see here after 25th november no comma after dsm madam no comma after yours uh, faithfully no comma there is no apostrophe s here so you can go through my videos on business letters to get more ideas so this is about the letter writing five marks now we are coming to the last question this question you have you have a choice here either you attempt product manual or brochure writing so let's have a discussion what is product manual writing product manual writing is five marks so try to understand this is a product here and you have you already have a description of, about the product you need to just sequence it you need to just arrange it in such a manner that it looks like a manual if somebody reads if someone reads it in a very key point they should be able to understand so generally the product manual consists the information uh, about the product the product's image features specifications instructions how to use it or if any kind of precautionary measures for example there are some product which should be kept away from the hot place we should be kept away from the keep it away from children like this so uh, i have tried to do here the product manual manual of a cell phone samsung galaxy s22 so if you look at here there are four three columns are here one is first one is the title second one is the image third one specifications or features next how to set up your device means to say the instructions then any kind of precautionary measures so these four things you keep in the mind one is the title of the product second is the image of the product third one is the specifications of the features fourth one is your instructions how to use it how to set up fifth one is your precautionary measures if any so you need, you need not worry about it all these things will be on your question paper if you see the last three question papers one is a model question paper 2023 bio question paper bnu 2023 question paper you will get three questions yeah, and you will get more ideas about it how the questions will appear but you have your i would say 90% answer is already on your question paper your task is here just to organize it draw some nice image of the product and write in the key points that is called here product manual or the user manual i hope you understood now we are coming to the last phase of your question paper with a choice with a choice to product if you don't like to opt product manual question you have a choice here brochure or poster writing sometimes they use the word brochure writing sometimes they say poster writing now when you are writing a poster of any event we generally consider those 10 or 10 or 11 key points one is issuing authority who is writing any college name company name what is the title of the event have you given any kind of tagline date time venue contact information qr code for more information prize awards google form for the registration any list of the events any guest is being called invited social media platform links like insta facebook etc who are the in charge the teacher coordinator the student coordinator or any kind of special person who are the in charge so when you are designing the poster keep those key points in your mind and you design in a very elegant manner decorative manner in a very presentable manner don't make it a very dry poster you can also use the color pencils 
right don't use the water pencil or the color pencil water color use the color pencils or you have the pencil your gen general pencil the common pencil you can use it to give more shade so let's see this this question uh, let's see this poster this poster obviously i have borrowed from google images so this poster will help you see here it's a this poster is for the intercollegiate annual cultural fest so you can see all the different images here the different images of the musical instrument right different image of the musical instrument the the college name college address organizes the name of the event then you have the tagline is here then there are the names of the event on the left to the right on which date what is the email id for the contact what's the website is a qr code also to for the payment of the registration or for for any kind of e brochure so this is how you can do uh, uh, there is one more sample is here in a very simple easy manner and that's again about the cultural fest so like this you need to draw or you need to prepare in the examination if you have technology very easily you can do it on laptop but you are writing in the examination so obviously you have to use your creativity your creativity will pay for you will pay to you if you if you become more creative you you'll be getting here 5 out of 5 marks so friends this is how again i repeat here the play fire in the rain 30 marks 2 marks 5 questions 5 marks 2 questions 10 marks 1 questions one question then you have here uh speeches you have five speeches out of five speeches you will be asked here uh, out of three questions two questions you need to opt and two into five ten marks then you have presentation skills you need to prepare the slides here you need to make the boxes you need to give the numbering slide one two three four five heading subheading and with the image right seven to eight slides you need to do it second question you have here paragraph writing one uh, per, uh, key points or the outline you will be given based on the outline you need to answer those questions then you have here business letter writing you have order letter inquiry letter complaint letter reply to the complaint letter and you need to follow the specific format and or, and attempt that question for the letter writing last question you have here five marks question brochure or product manual any one you can attempt you can attempt whichever you like it so this is how i have tried to revise the complete syllabus of third semester bcom bba a generic english for the bangalore university students as well as the bangalore north university students uh, dear friends dear dear students if you want to go through each and every videos of all these topics just have a glance in the description box you will get each and every topics videos in detail in brief and all the i have solved three question papers i repeat three question papers i have solved the model question paper and uh, bangalore bangalore university 2023 question paper bangalore north university 2023 question paper please go through these three question papers definitely you will get a lot of ideas at how the 2024 question paper will appear so friends thank you so much i wish you very good luck for the next examination for the forthcoming examination if you have liked my video especially this video thoda sa comment back comment box mein kuch to likh do bhai please write something in the comment box abhi tak if you are not yet subscribe my channel please do subscribe thank you once again